Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Here's a fun puzzle I saw online. It is shared with taglines like 90% fail or only a mastermind can solve. We have an equation. We have the number circle square triangle is added to circle square triangle is added to circle square triangle and the resulting number is square square square. Each shape is a different digit from 0 to 9. What is the value of each shape? So how can we solve this problem? I imagine there are many ways to go about it, but I'll just share the technique I used. I like to start out systematically by substituting each shape for a variable. So let's say that circle is represented by C, square is represented by S, and triangle is represented by T. So the first number is CST. That'll be the same for the second and third numbers. The final number is SSS. Let us now focus on the variables alone. Let's convert this addition problem into a standard equation. Recall the column on the very right represents the ones or the units column. The one next to that will be the tens column, and the one next to that will be the hundreds column. So the number CST is equal to 100 multiplied by C plus 10 multiplied by S plus T. We have three rows of this number, and when we add them together, we get a number SSS, which is equal to 100S plus 10S plus S. Since we have three groups of the number CST, we have three multiplied by this number is equal to 100S plus 10S plus S. So let's focus on this equation. 100s plus 10s plus s is equal to 111s. Divide both sides of the equation by 3 to get 100c plus 10s plus t is equal to 37s. Now subtract 10s from both sides to get 100c plus t is equal to 27s. We know that s is a digit from 0 to 9. So 27s will run through the multiples of 27 starting with 0. 27s could be 0, 27, 54, and so on up to 243. For example, when s is equal to 9, 27 times 9 is equal to 243. When s is equal to 1, 27s will be equal to 27. So let's see how this information can help us solve the problem. Let's focus on the value of C. We have 100 multiplied by C. What values of C could be possible? We see that 27S starts out at 0, and it goes up to 243. So we're looking at a result which is between 0 and less than 300. So the value of C is either 0 it could be 1, we have some multiple in the 100s, or it could be equal to 2, because we have 243. Now which of these values can actually result in a solution? What else do we know? We know that 100c plus t is equal to 27s. But 27 is equal to 9 multiplied by 3s. That means 27s is a multiple of 9, or 27s is divisible by 9. So if the right-hand side of the equation is divisible by 9, the left-hand side of the equation must also be divisible by 9. 100c plus t must be divisible by 9. By the divisibility rule for 9, that means the sum of the digits of a number is divisible by 9. The sum of the digits in 100c plus t is c plus t. So we know that c plus t must be divisible by 9. So let's combine this with the fact that c is equal to 0, 1, or 2. Let's work through these three cases. Suppose c was equal to 0. We then need c plus t to be divisible by 9, but we know that c and t are different digits. This is only possible if t is equal to 9. This is because t cannot be equal to 0, because c is equal to 0, and t is a digit from 0 to 9. So if c is equal to 0, t has to be equal to 9. 
then 100 c plus t will work out to be equal to 9, but that cannot possibly be a multiple of 27. This cannot be equal to 27s, where s is a whole number. So we know that c equals 0 cannot be a case that works. So let's go to another case where c is equal to 2. By similar logic, the only possible way that c plus t will be divisible by 9 is if t is equal to 7. So we substitute those values in, and we get that 100c plus t is equal to 207. But once again, this is not a multiple of 27. 207 divided by 27 is equal to 7 plus 2 over 3, so this cannot be equal to 27s. We eliminate this case. We are left with only one possibility, which is c is equal to 1. Since c plus t must be divisible by 9, that means that t is equal to 8. Then 100c plus t will be equal to 108. If we divide this by 27, we get the whole number of 4. So this could be equal to 27s. In this case, s would be equal to 4. So we have c is equal to 1, t is equal to 8, and s is equal to 4. So we have found a unique solution to this problem. So let's just go ahead and check this actually works out. We go to our original problem, and this results in the solution that 148 plus 148 plus 148 is equal to 444. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.